Authorities are on the lookout for a silver hatchback. It comes as reports were received that a man attempted to lure an eight-year-old schoolgirl into his car at Wallaby Point on Friday afternoon. It's here at Coomba Road where emergency services were called at 5am this morning. The two men managed to make it to shore after 11 hours in the water overnight. The man has been charged with 70 offences, including unlawfully grooming a child under the age of 14 for sexual activity. His case was today adjourned, but he'll reappear at Tari Local Court on the 22nd of December. Eyewitnesses are referring to it as a freak accident. The woman was reportedly setting up her solar panel to get the last of Friday's sunlight when she was knocked over by her camper van. Many people have left the campground in the days after in shock of what they've witnessed. While the mammoth task of keeping people COVID safe at an event which is centred around bringing people together has been deemed too risky. The carnival plays a significant role in the community last year raising funds for bushfire victims. Officials are fearing that we could undo all the hard work that has been done to get us to this stage. It comes as New South Wales records its 10th consecutive day of no locally transmitted coronavirus cases. Some questions have been raised about her personal relationship with disgraced Wagga Wagga MP Daryl Maguire. Many believe that the revelations from the ICAC inquiry are the final nail in her professional coffin. But why do numbers need to be managed? Well, it's because flying foxes are listed as vulnerable to extinction due to the ongoing loss of their habitat. That means they're seeking habitats in urban bushland like this, creating conflict with their human neighbours. Well, Carl, we're being asked to use just one bucket of water over the next 12 hours. That means no taps, no showers and no running water. It's part of Water Night, which is supposed to teach us what a precious commodity water really is. The weather has been pretty dire here today and it's set to get worse tonight and into tomorrow. There has been some good news, though, because Aussie Ark in the Barrington Tops have enjoyed their first snowfall of the year today. Less than a week ago, a 17-year-old tragically drowned at Diamond Beach and that was the second drowning there in six months. Surf lifesavers are in disbelief that people are still flouting safety guidelines. Yes, it will. This time last year, we were about to enter level four water restrictions. But with rain over the last couple of months, it doesn't look like there are any water restrictions in sight. It's welcome relief to businesses who are still dealing with the very real impact of last year's drought. We're experiencing Christmas levels of visitors. Accommodation is full to the brim and it doesn't seem set to change anytime soon either as it's booked up months in advance. It's